In today's tech video, we are going to take a good look at this thing right here. This is the new Amazon Fire Stick. We're going to unbox it and get it set up and show you guys what it looks like. That's today's tech video. Okay, so here it is. This is the Generation 3 of the Fire Stick. They've made some great improvements on this. That's what made me buy it. Um, I'll show you the old Fire Stick after I get this one unboxed uh, to show you the differences. But let's go ahead and uh, rip it open and see what it looks like. Okay, once you get everything out of the box, this is what's included in here. You get a Hello booklet. Uh, this is uh, the HDMI adapter that helps you to uh, plug it in and maybe get it away from your TV a little bit um, instead of just being sticking straight out of your TV. It just gives you some extra room, uh, so it's kind of like an extender. This here is the wall plug-in so that you can power your, your device. Here is the new remote control. Uh, this is a cable that goes connects into your Fire Stick, and then they give you two Amazon batteries here and then this is the fire stick itself let's go ahead and uh, unpackage the remote and put the batteries in there okay batteries in and then just slide the back back on here just like so okay so right off the bat you can see that there's some new buttons that have been added here on the new fire remote uh, fire stick remote they have the amazon prime video button which um, is native to their platform. It's got a Disney Plus button there, a Hulu, and a Netflix button. It's got the Fire TV branding on the bottom here, and then on the old remote, it's got the Amazon branding. Um, also, it's got a plus and minus symbol there, which will control the remote or the volume on your TV, versus the old remote did not do that. You had to buy like a, an extra device that hooked up on the side there to do that. This here was the extender that I had to have on the old remote, like so, to be able to, you know, control and turn off the TV on and off and uh, turn it up and down. So now you don't need that. And it's all in one remote, just like so. So I think that it's definitely worth the upgrade if you want to just buy the remote or if you want to go ahead and upgrade to the newest Fire Stick here and purchase the latest and greatest um, you're probably going to get you know all the updates and it's going to be a better processor so um, and for the price I mean it's worth the upgrade um, you can turn the TV on and off here with the power button which you could not do before with the old remote the old remote did have the microphone icon here this one here has the universal symbol there to activate your um, device and then they have the home buttons, the back buttons, there's like your settings button, and then it's got the rewind, fast forward, play. And then here on the side, there's a, a mute button, and then a TV button there. I'm not quite sure what that TV button is yet, but I will be diving into that. So there's the differences between the two remotes. All right, so let's go ahead and finish setting this up. What I'll do is I'll plug in my Fire Stick to my extender here, plug that into an HDMI port, plug this cable in to this, and then plug it into the wall. Okay, so as soon as you fire it up, it starts searching for your remote. Make sure you put your remote control near your fire stick. All right, I did have to push a button, and when I did, it started blinking blue right there, and voila, it's already pairing up. All right, so on the screen here, you have your Fire TV logo and I ask you to push the plus button or the play button okay just go ahead and select your language by pushing in the right here in the middle where the circle is go ahead and push in on that okay next step would be to select your network mine is FBI surveillance vehicle okay so it'll connect to your Wi-Fi and then it'll immediately start downloading the latest software and get this thing all the way up to date all right, now it says Fire TV Stick will restart in a few seconds. All right, once it downloads, it gives you this little animation here. It's kind of a cool animation. Okay, next it'll take you to your sign-in screen here where you sign in with your Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, you'll just click over to the right and create one. If you have one, go ahead and sign in right here. Okay, after you do that, it'll say successfully registered. 
Okay, after you register, you'll go on to this next screen here. To save your Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon, just go ahead and click yes here, because if not, it'll, it'll create all kinds of problems for you of having to enter in your Wi-Fi password all the time. Okay, so if you owned a Fire TV stick before, um, and you want to restore some of your old apps, it's giving you the option to do that, which is really nice. So that way, you don't have to like install every app again. It'll restore the ones that you had before, making life a little bit easier on you. So go ahead and just click on Restore if this is the case for you. All right, next it'll ask you if you want to turn on your parental controls here, or if you want to go with no parental controls. Okay, on this next step, it says that it'll be playing music during the next step. Uh, so please make sure that your volume is turned up and then click on next. With your Fire TV remote pointed at your TV, you'll toggle up and down on the volume buttons. Okay. And then it's working. And then you'll just click on next to confirm that it is working. And the Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Okay, one of the first things it asks you here is if you want to subscribe to the family plan. If you do, you'll subscribe here or you'll just, you'll just click down and click on no thanks. Okay, on this screen here is where you'll get started on selecting some of the apps that you have or that you're paying for. The, the apps are free to download, but you know, of course you have to pay for some of them like your Paramount Plus and Hulu, Netflix. You got to pay your monthly fee for that, but you can go ahead and download the apps on this step. All right, so the next step, it says introducing the all new Fire TV experience. Uh, you'll have a new main menu. You'll get to personalize your Fire TV with profiles. And then you get to decide what to watch with what they call Find. Uh, Find is that new destination to search and discover movies, TV shows, apps, free content, and more. Okay, so here's where you could add your new profile if you want to add one for your, your kids. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bypass this for now and just click on my profile. Okay, so here it is. This is what the new layout looks like. At the top, you'll see that it does have like a scrolling bar that shows some featured content. Um, right, here, right here in the middle, you'll have Find, where you can search TV shows, fan, kid, kids and family content, sports, action movies, horror movies. Uh, you'll click over here to where it says live and this is where you can find any kind of like live TV whether you want to watch your crime your WWE uh, it's got the walking dead and the kitchen so that's kind of a nice little feature for those of you who don't have maybe a, a local cable or uh, any type of live content and then you'll find some of your most popular apps right here on the top uh, your Netflix your prime video uh, YouTube Amazon music Okay, over here is where you'll find your gear icon. This is where you'll be able to access all the controls to be able to uh, customize your Fire Stick. We'll go back to the home menu here. All right, so on the home menu, you'll just scroll down, and then it's got some featured items that it, that it puts, you know, like I recommended here. And you'll just scroll down or scroll over to see some of the content that they do have. Uh, you'll scroll down and. One thing that Fire TV does that I don't know if I'm a big fan of it is they put the sponsor stuff on here uh, to try and promote and make some extra money. But this one here is for Paramount Plus and it's sponsoring their ad here on the Fire Stick. But you scroll down more and it's got like an on now. This is where that live TV feature is in place. It's got your Prime Amazon Originals, uh, some of the particular content that Amazon has its exclusive to their platform is right here and similar to Netflix whenever you do get on there it'll have where it starts automatically playing like their commercial at the top uh, prime movies that thinks that you'll like here they have some suggested movies now whenever here's a little tip for you whenever you are watching some of this content like I say I'll click on that one there that says flight Right there at the bottom left, you'll see where it says watch now with Prime. You want to make sure that that says with Prime. So that way you can watch it for free. Um, otherwise, sometimes you have to pay for these movies um, that it's, if they're not with Amazon Prime. But usually it'll give you a warning. It'll have a price or something of how much it is before it'll charge you. All right, so recently watched right here is where you could pick up on some of the movies that you are already watching. It's got our kids and family TV section here. You gotta teach us Kung Fu, Bubba. You 
Yeah, let me turn that down so I can talk. All right, it's got the IMD TV if you're into that. Free popular TV here. Free recently added movies with IMDB. Right here, it's got a news section selection where you can watch live news networks. It's got action comedy with some of the more popular ones that have just come out recently on streaming. Uh, it's got popular movies here from Prime, like The Secret, Unbreakable, Bombshell, Serenity. So it's got some pretty good movies here to watch. There's Gemini Man. And then, of course, Skyfall of James Bond. Uh, you'll go down here, recommended by your app. So, you know, based on the preferences that it thinks that you may like uh, on ones that you've already downloaded before, it's got some recommended apps here. Sponsored apps uh, like Showtime, Hulu, these are all ones that you, you do have to pay for these. Uh, Prime TV drama here, in case you're into that particular uh, genre. TV rated movies, or top, I mean top rated movies. TV shows that it thinks that it will like, it'll suggest it here. And then it's got top rated TV here. So there's a lot of different categories that it is offering. So there's plenty of content to watch on the Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so go, to go back up to the top, you just click uh, the home button on your remote control. And it takes you right to the top here. So this uh, new format here, it'll take some getting used to if you're used to using the old Fire TV stick. But I think that this is a little bit cleaner looking. And I think it, it, I like that they just have your main apps right here at the very top where you can just scroll over to them. This button right here will be where you select all the TV apps that you have available. We'll go ahead and click on that and see which it shows and then you'll see here it's got it all categorized um, down here on this pop-up here is apps that it's still downloading for me but right here are all the apps that I have installed on the stick all right now say you do want to customize this top bar here to put uh, you know like prime video first what you would do is you would select your prime video button and on your remote control there's a button right well, you can't really see it because of the the light but there's three lines in a row that's the like settings button you'll click on that on the top or on the bottom right corner you'll see where it says move or move to the front or you can hide for all apps so if you wanted to move it you'll take you'll click on move and then you'll just put it right there in front of Netflix or wherever you want to put it and then you just click on the circle again and then it stays just like so all right back to the home menu here but yeah this gives you a pretty good look at what the new fire stick has to offer what it looks like i think they did a pretty good job with updating it and making it look a little bit better than what it did before so hopefully this video was helpful to you if it was go ahead and click a thumbs up on it go ahead and subscribe to my channel i make tech videos all the time and i would love to have you back in the next one take care